Hey guys, Vincent here of 271 Honda Performance, and in today's tech video, we are covering exhaust. <laughs> Does that work? Yeah. That's right, we're talking exhaust. More specifically, exhaust terminology 101. We're gonna break down the OEM system and our aftermarket systems for the 2016 plus Honda Civics. We're gonna go into what the pieces are called, what they do, and why you wanna upgrade them. So for today's video, we got four exhaust systems that we're gonna be using. So let's check them out right now. Number one, 2018 OEM Civic SI Coupe FC3. 271 system, 2017 plus Honda Civic SI Coupe. 2017 plus Honda Civic Type R OEM. 2017 plus FK 271 Performance Type R Exhaust, 80 millimeter, AKA the big one. All right guys, so for this first example, we're gonna be looking at a 2018 Honda Civic SI Coupe aftermarket performance exhaust. To the right, I've got the OEM system. To the left, I've got our 271 performance system. Now, the terminology and the nomenclature we're gonna go over are completely applicable for all the 2016 plus turbo Honda Civics. These system setups are gonna be very similar to the hatchback, the SI sedan, the Type R, sport hatchback, and pretty much all the new Honda Civics, especially those equipped with the 1.5 liter turbo and two liter turbo engine. We're gonna go ahead and break down the different components, their names, where you find them, and why you wanna upgrade them. So starting straight from the turbocharger, we're gonna look at the downpipe. So right here is the OEM downpipe. Now the downpipe on these modern Honda Civics houses both catalytic converters. We have a primary catalytic converter right here and a secondary catalytic converter right here. Both of them physically live in the downpipe. As you can see with the OEM downpipe, it is a stamped steel. So basically the way this works is it's two pieces of a mold that then come together and are welded. These are obviously have the main focus and primary function on emissions. So you can see that the biggest purpose is these huge catalytic converters, making sure the cars are emissions compliant and do everything that they need to do. They're generally short pieces going straight from the turbocharger all the way straight down. Short little sections, good piece to upgrade. So now, looking at an aftermarket performance downpipe, you can see here we have a much larger 80 millimeter bell mouth opening, and we have a much larger cast opening. So what this is gonna do, and why it's important, is you want a large opening right behind the turbocharger. Reason being is you want the greatest pressure drop between the turbo and right after it. The bigger the pressure drop, the more the air wants to go through and actually get outside of the car. We use one catalytic converter, that's a 200 cell bullet cat, very efficient, and smooth tapers all the way through. So as you can see going side to side, this one is much larger, a lot bigger, and basically gonna allow us a lot more flow until we run into the next piece of the exhaust system. So once we finish the downpipe, we're gonna be looking at the front pipe. The front pipe is the piece of section that's attached to the rear of the downpipe, goes under the oil pan, over the subframe, and then attaches to the rest of the exhaust system. It's a very short section of pipe. As you can see, straight makes a little S. Pretty simple, nothing too crazy about it. It does have a flex joint, which allows for engine movement. As we're shifting, accelerating, deaccelerating, the engine's rocking, we need the exhaust to be able to move with it. So that's the basic functionality of the front pipe system. Looking at an aftermarket front pipe system, we retain the same key features of a flex joint and OEM-like fitment. Biggest gain here is we're going to larger diameter piping. Simple reasoning for that, larger diameter piping equals less back pressure, which is more horsepower, which is exactly what we're looking for. Once we finish with the front pipe, we're gonna go to what's called the front pipe back. Now, old school terminology would generally call this a cat back but because the catalytic converters are actually housed in the downpipe further up, it's the front pipe back, because it's the piece that attaches to the back of the front pipe, hence the name. Now in the OEM exhaust system, you're gonna find that it's one piece from the front pipe all, all the way to the tip. So it's very long, very heavy, and very thin. Most aftermarket applications, just like our 271 performance, are chopped up in about two to three pieces. Simple reason being, it's a lot easier to transport, put in a box, and get shipped out to you guys. 
So the OEM system has much more concerns with manufacturability and how quickly they can get them done. So there's nothing too complex about them. They're using stamped steel, a simple resonator, straight flat piping, going to the rear muffler section. Our 271 performance version has performance in mind first. So as you can see, much larger piping throughout the whole system, a high flow resonator, and clean TIG welds the whole way through. Getting to the rear of the exhaust, we look at the OEM system. We're coming with our piece of pipe into two huge mufflers, go in, back out, straight through the tips. With our system, same idea, huge piping come all the way through. Biggest change is we now incorporated these side branch resonators. These are gonna eliminate drone, take out some of the tone, make it a nice, pleasant drive, but also real performance oriented and throaty. Through another resonator, and then our unique tip design. So as you can see, we end at the same spot and we offer a full system that's from the turbo back. But the exhaust system we sell to you is available in three situations. You can buy the front pipe back, with the front pipe, or with a down pipe for a complete turbo back. We offer one of the only full complete turbo back systems on the market today. Everything is larger, increased pipe diameter, better materials, longer lasting, and a solid fit. So what we're looking at now are the front pipes for the Honda Civic FK8. OEM on the left, looks very much exactly like the front pipe we saw on the L15s. Comes off the down pipe, a flex section, a hanger, and coming over the subframe. Now with the 271 Performance, same thing, but much larger piping. We're looking at 80 millimeter piping with a true three inch inner diameter. So this is a huge increase in flow capable of supporting well over 600 horsepower down the road. Now a big difference that you're gonna find between our exhaust system and the OEM exhaust system is how we attach the front pipe to the front pipe back. As you can see on the OEM, it reduces down to two inches to attach to the triangulated flange. It then goes through, opens back up a little bit through the rest of the system. To negate that, we use a V-band flange and include the front pipe with the system so it's a true 80 millimeters the whole way. No step downs, no reductions. A true free flowing 80 millimeter three inch exhaust system. Most aftermarket units that you're gonna find have a small choke point at the beginning to mate to a stock factory front pipe. But again, really small. You're gonna have a small opening going down to something huge. We negate that by including it all in. Looking at the rest of the Type R exhaust system, it's gonna be super similar again. Pipes. We have a resonator in the middle with hangers. Same thing with the FK upgrade that we offer, except again, huge 80 millimeter piping and V-band flanges all the way through. Looking at the OEM, we end with the three mufflers, the center one being a dead end, and the two side ones being standard mufflers, exiting through a three-tip design. The FK8 upgrade that we offer, 80 millimeters again all the way through, V-band flange connections, and dual side branch resonators that are gonna help eliminate drone and give you a clean sound through our 80 millimeter resonator and out our three triple exhaust tips. Another key feature again being, this is 80 millimeters from the down pipe all the way back. No step downs, no reductions. The SI exhaust systems are at 63 and a half millimeters with no step downs and no reductions. This improves performance and reduces back pressure. Finishing off the exhaust systems for the SI, the Sport Hatchback, and the Type R, a huge key feature was respecting the OEM body lines. As you can see on the SI, we have a wide tip exit, and we paid respect to that with our unique dual tip design only for the SIs. Looking at the Type R, we wanted to honor the OEM style, which is a triple tips, but we did it in a much classier and much performance oriented way. We have three tips being much larger with the middle one being the bigger one, giving a mean, pronounced presence and looking good under your Type R. So wrapping it all up, remember, the exhaust system breaks down into three key components, a down pipe, a front pipe, and a front pipe back. Working with 271, you can buy all of this at once or piece it together modularly as you grow your build. I wanna thank you guys again for tuning in. I hope you found this video informative and understand the exhaust terminology that we and other people in the industry use. So that way it's gonna be a little bit easier when it comes time to upgrade your exhaust system. As always, if you got any questions, let us know. Leave a comment below. My name is Vincent. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you guys next time.